Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to manage the listing categories in VP Rentals team. There will be many details to explain, so this topic will have two videos. In this video you will learn how to add, edit or delete listing categories, how to create category pages, how to add those pages into the menu, how to manage the category page headers and many other settings. The categories are managed by the admin from the back end and they can be found under listings. The listing categories are categories, what do you rent, city, neighborhood, features and amenities and property status. First I will explain how to add, to edit and to delete listing categories. So I will go to one random category. For example, what do you rent? If you have imported a demo, then for each category you will have the demo elements. I will show how to add a new category. You will need to add the name of the category here. We recommend to leave the slug empty so WordPress can generate it automatically. And next I will click add new option. The new category was created. Under ID you will see the category ID and under count you will see how many listings have been assigned to this category. Next you will be able to edit the demo categories. You will need to hover over the category, press edit button. You will need to change the name. We suggest to remove the old slug and to leave it blank and click update. You will see that the slug was auto-generated and if you go back to the categories list, you will see that the change apply. Next, to remove a category, you will need to hover over the category that you want to delete and press delete button. You will have this warning to make sure that you really want to remove the category. You need to press OK and the category will be deleted. These steps will apply for all categories. Once you added all relevant categories for your business, you will be able to create category pages. I will show an example for city category. To create a category page, you will need to hover over the category that you want to use and click the view button. I will create a page for this category. This is the category page. You will see the listing spins from this category in the map and the listing cards in the list. This page can be added in the menu for easy access. I will show the steps that you need to take. First, I will go back to admin. I will go to appearance menus. Here you will be able to manage the team menus. I will select the main menu. From screen options, I will enable city category to show in this area. I will open city. I will select the category that I want to display in the menu. I will click add to menu. Here with drag and drop I will change the menu item position. If you open the menu element you will be able to change the label that will show in the menu. I will save the change I made and on front end you will see that now you have this category added in the menu. From home page you will be able to easily access this page. The category pages are hard-coded in team code and you can change the design settings from team options. Currently I have half map layout enabled. For category pages you will have the option to set the layout to be a half map or a standard one. First I will show the settings that you have for half map and after I will explain the ones for the standard layout. The half map layout will not support a header or a footer. You will always have half map and half a list. If you go to team options general appearance. You will have the option to change the map position. I will set it to be on the right and save the change. On refresh you will see that the map will change position. On the category page when you have the half map you will have this filter area. The filters can be changed from team options. I will show. I will go to team options. In search section half map search form. Here you will be able to change the fields that will show in filter area. Here you will be able to change the number of fields that will show. 
how many fields will be displayed per row. I will change one just to show how the changes apply. I will change bedrooms to first category. I will change the comparator and the label. I will save the changes made and on refresh you will see the new field. These are the settings for the half map layout. Now I will change the layout to standard. For that I will go back to team options. I will go to general appearance and here you will have the option to switch from half map to standard layout. I will save the change. I will refresh the page and now you will have the standard layout. This layout supports a header and the footer. Also you will be able to add a sidebar to the page and now I will show all the settings that you can do. I will go back to team options. In header section you will be able to change the header type only for the category page. This is the option. I will show how each type will be displayed. First I will start with none. Now you will have a simple page without a header. Next, for image, if selected, you will be able to add an image that will show globally for all category pages. I will show. I will select an image from media. This is how the header will show. But you will also have the option to add a different image for each category page. For that, you will need to edit the category and upload an image in the featured image section. You will need to click on the upload image button. I will select an image from my device, but you can use one from media as well. I will click insert into post. For this image to show as this category header, you will need to go back to team options and in header section, you will need to enable this option. Use uploaded image for city and area taxonomy page header. And now for the category, I will have the image that I uploaded for this category only. The rest of the categories will have the global image unless you upload a different image for each of the categories. Going back to team options, next you will be able to set the team slider as category page header. The team slider is set here in team options. You will need to select the listings that will show in the slider and only the featured image of each listing will be displayed. I, this is the team slider. I will go back to team options header. Next you will be able to add a revolution slider as the category page header. Here you will need to add the name of the slider that will display globally on all category pages. I will show. I will go to slider revolution. Here I have the demo sliders. I will edit one of them. This is the name that you need to add in Team Options. I will copy. And in Team Options I will pass this name. I will save changes. And on Categories pages I will have globally the revolution slider that I set in Team Options. Going back to Team Options, the last option is Google Map. And now all category pages will have a map as a header. I will select the image header type back. And from Appearance, I will be able to select a sidebar for the category pages. This is the option. I will select the sidebar to be displayed it in the right side of the page. Here you will be able to select the sidebar that you want to display. I will leave the primary one. I will save the change. And now the page will have a sidebar. Going back to team options, in the same section you will be able to change the number of listings that will show. I will change it to 2 to make the change relevant and show how it will be displayed. You will see that now only two listing cards are displayed and you will have pagination to switch pages. This wraps our first video on listing categories. Thank you for watching and not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.